after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lot's finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. Full and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hi, and welcome to Pen Hook and Needles, episode ninety-seven. It is a podcast, yes, and it is really, really bright in here. Yeah, we're we're recording in our living room and it's early. It's about one o'clock, a little maybe one thirty. And so we have a lot of light in here. I might I don't want to pull the curtain over there because I'm afraid that it'll make it too dark. Well you can try. I mean all right, hold on. We're going to do a light test. We are going to do an experiment. Which is what we should have probably done before we start podcasting. Well we thought it was all right. Truly. Um yeah, that works. Stop. Yeah, that right works. There. That works. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't look like washed out ghosts anymore. Careful. I'm trying not to knock over my tea. Okay, so this is Pen oh, that's better. Yes, it is. This is Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode 97. It is April 8th. It is Tuesday, and it's approximately 1:30 Eastern Standard Time while we're recording. I don't know what time it is while you're watching. Um, <laughs> Uh, my name is Tully, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. I'm Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. The um, music you just finished hearing, um, once I edit this and add it, is After the Ball is Over by Ren Ross, obtained from moviealley.com from Vivio. Right, and it, this is going to be a longer podcast because we are going to have Davina in today, so you might want to make sure you have something to drink or something to eat or both. Uh, feel free to pause us and go do what you have to do if you need to in the middle. Keep calm and knit on. Yes. I have chai tea. I um, have pumpkin spice tea. It's part of my Christmas collection. And this may be the last, one of the few times I continue with the hot tea. It's getting warmer. You see, I don't like cold tea. I, well, I don't mind if it goes cold, I, but I don't like the iced tea. I want. I, I mean, like the um. I want the smoothie. There, I got it. I don't like the smoothie tea. I don't like the smoothie They're tea. Like, it's like eating Nobody your said tea. you had to have the smoothie yeah. tea. Oh, grief. Anyway. <laughs> we Thomas, Thomas likes the uh, smoothie uh, coffee. It's uh. like, it's, it's like frou-frou. Yeah. I'm of surprised. Course, uh, he calls it frou-frou even. But he likes it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, um, yes. Uh, can we get on to the housekeeping part of this? or Just a quick update because I do have a funny story. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, that story. I had the reason why we're podcasting today instead of yesterday is um, my hospital. Sis, well, the whole uh, most. We always do on Tuesday. That's what we started to do. Oh that yeah, that's right. Really, but I did have training yesterday. We uh, as well. We the most hospital systems are switching over to a computer system called Epic, so all different computers in different hospitals can talk to each other. Um, is that nationwide? I think it's supposed to be nationwide. Um, so I know that. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't be talking to other nurses from over there. You talk the to Karen. System. Yes, mom. Somehow, magically, I'll be talking to Karen. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if my patients have something to do with people on that therapy. side of the country. <laughs> um, I think she does PT, doesn't she? I don't know what she does, but anyway. Anyway, rehab. Um, yes, basically PT, I guess. Anyhow. Um, we went to training and it was about 45 minutes away. A bunch of us carpooled because of the first training, less tra training class. Um, got off at the wrong end because we knew that it was near sheets. We wanted to pick up sh uh, sheets before we went. Well, we should have gone off the next exit because there's a sheet. You should clarify that, that you mean that it is a place where you get something to drink. Oh, that's right. Sheets in all over the country. Because they might think you're going into a store to get sheets. Sheets, <coughs> S-H-E-E-T-Z. Uh, is actually a gas station, but it's really famous for its food, actually. Yeah, it has a good food. Um, you order it through a computer system, and they build it through your order. So you can customize your coffee. They or have chai tea. 
you, you can customize whatever drink you want, actually. Yeah. I can customize your food. I got a pretzel roll sandwich. Mm, Daddy would love that. And um, a mocha for my, for my uh, class. But um, we're sort of, the three of us are sort of bumbling around the, the sheets because we hadn't been to sheets in a while and they changed the setup. You, you know how most places you can get those uh, sugar packets and just tear them open? I guess they were having issues with people stealing sugar packets, and now you, you there's this contra- contraption where you say, I want one, two, or three st- oh. sugars, and it'll empty out the amount that would be in the sugar packets. Oh. Ew. I like to do halves and things. Yeah. But um, I guess they were having pe- issues with people stealing sugar packets. But um, while we were waiting for our food, because I forgot to pay first, I, th- I forgot that you pay first and then they make your food instead of they make your food and then you pay. So we were waiting around and this older guy um, wearing this, I thought at first he was wearing a watchman tie because it was a darker, it was a tie with a yellow smiley face. I thought I had the arrow or T or whatever the watchman symbol has, but it, the smiley face is actually winking. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he, was ba- he was older, probably like 60s or 70s. Um, and he walks over and he's like, oh, hey, I'm sorry. I don't want this to sound like a line. So you already know that's going to be a good setup. And he's like, but I'm a photographer. And I just had to say, you have the loveliest eyes. I had to look a couple of times. Mm-hmm. And my coworker just about lost it. The other one's like, what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> and, and tell him, tell him about this guy, though. Um, well, I, I mentioned it was an older. Well, not really. You didn't. Not really. An older guy with a smiley face tie. Um, old guy. And um, <laughs> my one coworker who didn't quite hear after she got the lowdown, she's like, "Oh, you should have told him, you know that. Do you know who I am?" Um. <laughs> People pay good money to take my picture. These are my two bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'd be quite scared of your two coworkers. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, Kim and Nancy could take people down if they needed to. <laughs> they don't look like it, though. No, they don't. Kim's short, and <laughs> but it was funny. It, it, it was really funny. And the funny thing was, right before we left, he's like, "And I'm really gonna dig myself one." But I love the color of your sweater. I was wearing the yellow swe- <laughs> sweater. I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> But I texted my boyfriend right after. I was like, I got complimented my eyes. He's like, yeah, just thinking of a song right now. <laughs> and <laughs> then what did he decide to do? Oh, he said that he would, uh, if the guy that can, was an issue, he'd break his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, he wouldn't because he's a big pussycat. <laughs> yes. All right, right, now that we've got the story done, I want to welcome yeah, all new and returning viewers. Because it was yes. a cute story. New and returning viewers, um... We're glad to have you with us. We know that you have a lot of podcasters that you like to listen to and a lot of other things that take up your time, so we're happy that you're spending some time with mm-hmm. us. We have um, seven new members who... Wow. Who I think it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six... Twenty-eight. Eight, eight new members. Eight I new members. I wanted to throw out numbers randomly, and you've got finished too soon. <laughs> well, that's mature. I'm Are you stretching my tongue? tongue. <laughs> <laughs> we have eight new members who have actually join the group if you are new or even if you're returning and you're not part of the group yet, please join us. We'd love to have you with us. But in the meantime, we want to wor- welcome, welcome. Wy- welcome. I, ca- I cannot say that word. We want to welcome Wyburn. I don't know what her name is. I looked, but I couldn't find it. So we welcome Wyburn. Uh, Pebbles Cruz, also I couldn't find her name either, um, but we welcome her. Uh, Sherry Glover 1, I think is what uh, her rap name is, and that's Sherry. We welcome Hi, Sherry. Sherry. Uh, we welcome Mar- Maggie Lynn, who is Linda. Hi, Linda. And we welcome... I'd be interested in knowing why Maggie Lynn. Yeah, I think Lynn comes from Linda. Okay, but... Uh, but uh, so, Linda, why why Maggie Lynn? Yeah, I'd <laughs> like to know that. I was I was wondering that when I typed it in. Um, Summer Yarns, who is Summer, and she also has a podcast. Hi, Summer. Oh, okay, um, cool. So, I have started it. I haven't um, gotten all the way through it. I, I don't know if she's the one who has the kitchen... Audio podcast, kitchen something, mm. audio podcast. I'm not sure if she's the one who has that one or not, but she, um, I think she has a podcast. I have to go back and check. 
Um, and then we have Bunny Buns. Oh, that's fun. Bunny Buns, who's D. She made me laugh when I saw that. I was like, oh, that's so cute. To get a little bunny in our backyard la- uh, yes, yesterday. Yes, we had a little bunny in our, a little bunny visitor in our backyard yesterday. It was so cute. Um, so Bunny Buns, who is D, we welcome her. We welcome Miss World, who is Amy. I like that name. Isn't that great, Miss World? And then we have Stitching Out Loud, who is Cat. Oh, that's awesome. And that's Kat. a great name, Stitching Out Loud. I mean, it's like, all I could think of was. I think she's a crocheter predominantly, but I'm not sure. I can think it was swish, 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 swish. <laughs> or she's going to click, 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 click. <laughs> So welcome to all of you. We're so glad to have you with us. Um, this is looking brighter than it does in real life. Yeah, it's the lighting in here, I think. Huh. Before we get out of the um, publicity, I do want to um, mention I got an email notification from 10 Hours or Less, who is George. He is having a sale through Friday. We get 20% off, off uh, all patterns. Promo code is SAVE20. And I don't know if it has to be all caps. It's all caps in my in my email. So Go my, check it out. Check it out. He's got some awesome stuff in there. I, mean, I think I need to just Google 10 hours or less. I don't say not, I, I'm not sure what his uh, website's. Yeah. Um, I think we had that last time we had a sale. We can go through. He had a sale. We have it on one of our pre- um, previous yeah. show notes. But if you Google 10 hours or less or you go to his, um, I don't know what you call it, when he's got a group where he has all his stuff. His pattern page? His pattern page, a shop. His wrap shop. shop. If you go to his wrap shop, I think it'll take you to where you can get the um, the patterns. And George will correct us if we're wrong. He can put it in the uh, show notes, or not the show notes, in the uh, thread. thread for this podcast. So check it out, 20% off until Friday, or through Friday, through Friday. Um, just And the promo code is SAVE20. Okay, that leads us to the Autism Awareness Cal Cal. It's okay to be different. I'm we already have a couple of whips and a finished project. I am very excited about that. I'm way behind, um, but this is my weekend to work. I forget who, well, she just posted it. I forget who it was. She was so cute. She said, okay, if I st- start right in, jump right in. I'm like, I didn't No, know you can't. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's perfect. It's so cute. I think it's one of those little, um, I, don't, I don't know what they're called, but they have like a head, and then, you know, like carry them around. The kids hang around. Oh, carry them around. I don't like know what those are called. Binkies or whatever they're called. Um, no, Binky, I think, is a pacifier. It, it has the head, and then it's got like a blanket. A blanket? I've seen them before, yeah. but I'm not sure what they're called. And the good thing about this, if you look in the thread, she has the autism awareness puzzle pieces as the blanket part of it. It's so is it cool. Really? It is oh, that so is cool. cool. So it, it, we're off to a, a, a fantastic start. It's really great. It's um, we're running from April 1st through June 30th. Um, crocheted or knitted, any any of those two, you can do for the uh, projects. They should be. They must be bright colored, okay? And I have slightly altered the rules. I felt they were a little confusing the way I had them. Yes, they were. So this is how we're doing it. The tag remains AA2 2014. Um, please let us know if you're using one of the featured patterns because the featured patterns are getting three chances at a prize once it's finished. Um, so that's the um, winding journey patterns or the braid it bright pattern. The other the other thing that I want to clarify you, let me see here, clarify for you is they must be knit or crochet, whips, one project, one picture per project per week, uh, just like we did last time. They get one chance as do any projects that have only one bright color. Okay? Two or more bright colors get the two uh, chances and if you do the featured patterns, regardless of the colors, that's three. So it's very simple now. I will change it in the thread, um, the Autism Awareness thread when I get the chance, but it's fairly simple. Finished objects, one color, one prize um, chance. But it still has to be bright. Oh, bright. It has to be bright. Two or more bright colors gets two chances, and if you're doing one of the featured patterns, three chances. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, the finished objects for um, as whips. I mean, the um, the uh, feature patterns as whips still only get one <laughs> chance. All whips get one chance. Yes, all whips. All get whips get one chance. Okay. Um, and are you reposting the people who get multiple chances? If they do not repost it themselves, I will. Yeah. Okay. 
I have to look and see if the person who already posted, I think she only posted she should, one. She should get two chances, right? Cause she had she should get two because she had all the colors and she um, finished it. Uh, so she gets two for that. I have to go back and look at it. And I also um, have to see if anybody else finished it. And I have to make sure I stay on top of that. Yes, you do. Um, <laughs> we are do we are co-hosting this with Fibertown, who is Chana Pools, Emily, um, and with Equal Opportunity Crafter, who is Juliana. Mm -hmm. They we um, want to mention one of our feature patterns is Juliana's um, right. winding, journey, winding journey, which is a beautiful pattern. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> I haven't started one yet. I intend to eventually, but I'm not sure if I'll get a chance with everything I have on the needles. Um, <laughs> it will get done. It yes. will get done. Uh, it's like a beautiful I, pattern. Like and I, the proceeds, when I'm, I'm not sure if it's still going toward her school, but when I bought it, um, it was going toward the uh, um, special ed... The uh, autism, it's autism special school, right? I guess it is autism in particular. Yeah. For, uh, her, she has two autistic boys. One graduated this preschool, mm -hmm. and the other one's still in this school, and they deal particularly with autistic kids. Right. Um, and I know when she first started selling the pattern, the proceeds were going directly to the school. I'm not sure if they still are. You'd have to ask Juliana. Now, I, I do want to encourage you, besides the fact that this makes autism awareness a little better known, more mm -hmm. people get to know about this by doing this, Cal, um, I do want to um, kind of sweeten the pot a bit. We have had an influx of prize donations. It's really exciting. It is. Um, Knitting's My Bag, as you know, Lois has donated a project bag. And, and it, looks, it looks, like like this. looks something like this, but it's small. Yeah. It's a small bag. It's a, but her small bags are not real small. They they're like what? They're maybe a little bit smaller than this. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe like here. Yeah. Okay. Because um, that's, that's a plover bird medium. Yeah. Um, and I do love my plover medium. And I love her. I love her too. So we have, um, let me see if I can get this up. A knit is my bag, small project bag in the puzzle pieces fabric. We have two, I think it's two plover bird bags. She, I got an email from her and um, one or two, it's, regardless, it's amazing. It's amazing either way. The reason I think it might be more than one, last year she gave us more than one, but I had made a different purchase and um, she put it in and she said, oh, she said rather than, you know, to continue, yeah. oh, rather than charge you double shipping, I'm going to put it all together. I hope that's okay. And she refunded me the money. She said, I'm going to put it in with the cow bags. So I think you lucky people might have two chances to get a plover bird bag. I know. Um, amazing. Juliana has offered one of her patterns as a prize And her group. patterns are pretty awesome. They're gorgeous. I have a sweater that I want to mm -hmm. knit of hers. Now, we got an email from Tana Fools, who is Emily, who is our other co-host. I have no clue what's coming in the box. All I know is that it's darn and patterns. So I don't know how much. I don't know what it is. Just various goodies. I She said she was going to send it off. I don't know if she's gotten to the post office yet because she's not too far from us. No. So um, we don't know where where she's in this area. We just know she's close. She's like in the D.C. area somewhere. So she... And we're about what? An hour from D.C.? Maybe an hour and a half. Something like that. So she has very generously given us, I don't know what, it'll be a surprise to us when we get it. We'll let you know when it arrives. Um, and then Sarah Jane Designs um, she's predominantly crochet, but she also has a couple of knitting patterns, and she has donated five patterns. You have got to check out her patterns. They she's are a crochet designer, right? As a cr predominantly crochet. She has two knitted oh, designs okay. up there right now. I don't know if she's doing knitted designs now. I think she's predominantly a crocheter. She is fantastic. She came out of the blue. I had um, been talking to her at, I think it was Crochet Cal's board, I think it was, or something, uh, Crochet and Ralphie or something, and she liked our our. Um, Cal Cal, and she offered five patterns. You really need to look at them. They're, they're really nice. Predominantly, I think, accessories, but she has a really nice shrug and hat that you can get separately or you can get as a set, and it's very nice. Um, and then, let me see here. I think that's everything. We, we will be donating um, an $8 prize, $8 pattern, Ravelry pattern, to one to Chain of Fools and one to, to Juliana. Equal, to Equal Opportunity. So you... Get involved with all... F I'm sorry. Oh. Whoops. Okay. I can leave a message. Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how to startle Talia. Um, so get involved with all three groups, and you can have multiple chances to win lots of neat prizes. Okay? 
Um, and we thank you already, those of you who have already started by posting pictures of yarn, posting whips, posting finished objects. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed that we already have a finished object I know, in I am there. too. Cause that, that's wonderful. It, we're what? I don't know what day is. The eighth? Eight? The eighth. We're four eight days, days in. Seven, seven days, days in, in, yeah. Well, eight days. We start April 1st. Yeah. So that's awesome. Okay. That's just about, we want to thank, every, oh, and before I thank everybody else, I do want to thank George, who developed a pattern specifically for us. Yes, the Brave Right. Cowl, cowl, which, by the way, George, I'm thinking about making a belt out of. <laughs> and I'm making a headband. I think I'm gonna make the headband first, but I think if I can sit down and have a little time, I'd like to make a belt out of that. Well, he he makes it easy to figure out what I would say. Do it fingering weight though, or yeah, 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 it? yeah. Well, I George, I'll tell you something. I you know I'm a kind of a cautious knitter, and you make me feel more adventurous because you put it in an easy format, format. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, this will work here, and this will work here. So thank you for that. Thank you, George, for the lovely P H N inspired. Cal for our autism awareness. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody who is being so generous. We appreciate it. Um, okay. Alrighty. Um, we have. Um, do we want to call Davina? Oh, you want to do the autism awareness first? That's right. Right. Just wanted to. We're going to keep this this a little bit short. Yeah. Though. This did, just basically wanted to go over uh, a couple of definitions. Not everyone is familiar with autism, or they might be vaguely familiar with autism. I pulled up the DSM-4. Uh, the DSM-4 it has... What is the DSM-4 first? The DSM-4 is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, and it's the fourth edition. They either, either have come out with the fifth edition, or the fifth edition is coming out mm -hmm. um, and is soon. That, is that the one that says that Asperger's... That's the one that's uh, taking away the definition of Asperger's. Which At this point now, though, autism and Asperger's are two separate diagnoses. Right, they are, but they are in the same spectrum. They the are in the same spectrum. Asp Asp Asperger's is an autistic spectrum disorder, but it looks like they may be absorbing it into autism or perhaps PDD. Um, so what autism, the way the DSM-4 describes autism is uh, as an impairment in social interaction and it usually has at least two of the following. Uh, there's impairments in the use of nonverbal behaviors such as eye to eye gaze, facial expression, body posture, and gestures to regulate social interaction. And what they mean by eye to eye gaze is the, the inability to look somebody in the eye while you're talking. If you talk to my daughter, she'll be doing this. They just don't like eye to eye contact. She, she, and I, if, when she was little, and even now sometimes, she said, Mom, it hurts to look eye to eye. Um, and their face, they might appear flat. Expressionless, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's the clinical term is, is flat. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a flat aspect is how we describe okay, it right. clinically. I, I'm, uh, a little bit, I'm a little removed from my special education background. She's coming off the medical background. So we're... So by flat affect, I mean it. they just look blank. Um, they their, bo their body posture might be just not... It might not communicate the way ours would, whereas we'd be talking with our body. Body language. Yeah, body language is mm -hmm. off. Um, they might have a failure to develop peer relationships appropriately for their development. So, for example, they might associate better with younger kids. Or, or they might even with older just because of their... Um, because the other older kid might, kid might... Like a parent figure. Yeah. Um, they will have difficulty reciprocating emotionally. Um, they might not participate properly in play. They might not connect well with people that... Um, don't have a specific interest in what they're interested in. Um, and they might not necessarily register that something might hurt someone's feelings. Right. Um, I remember there's actually a part in um, the uh, show Alphas right. where the, uh, I think he was Asperger's, but yeah. um, one of the characters, Gary, who ha has an autism spectrum disorder, he saw a picture of someone who was, a video of someone who was crying. So he stated, talking to himself, she's crying. That means she's sad. Mm -hmm. He had to tell himself right. what we make the natural connection to. Right. Um, and there are levels. I mean, yeah. you know, Davina doesn't, isn't quite at that level. She's no. higher than that. Um, but sometimes she does have to work. Okay. Okay. So now she does have to work to realize that something might hurt someone's mm -hmm. feelings. It, it, you can't. It's very difficult to put her for her to put herself into someone else's shoes. 
um, and that's a difficulty of the of this particular spectrum disorder. I remember the time when I would I just changed from being a cardiac nurse to to being <laughs> um, a, a med surge nurse, and she's like, "Oh, so you're not a cardiac nurse anymore, right?" Yeah, that's right, kiddo. So you're just a nurse now. Just. Yes, kiddo. I'm yes. Just, just a nurse, nurse. now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> say yes. Um, because she'll get upset if she thinks that you... Or she'll say, like, oh, I'm so glad I don't weigh as much as you. Yeah. And you're like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're bigger than I am. Yes. Yes. You're like, thank you. Or she's like, you're not that old, Mom. You don't look that old. <laughs> it's the connection of... It's very hard for her to put self in other people's shoes. And, and she it, tries hard. She does try hard. Sorry about that. Um, now, with autism more than with Asperger's, Usually with autism, there can be a delay in the language, um, in the ability to speak. They'll learn to speak later. Um, well, they also have the, the higher levels, like Davina, also tend to be very pedantic. It's very formalized, mm -hmm. you know. Um, or they'll have difficulty with figures of speech. Mm -hmm. um, Davina's still learning figures of speech and misusing figures of speech. Mm -hmm. um, she is trying now, though. Yes, she is. Oh, she, I think she's always tried, just that sometimes she doesn't quite connect the figures. Speech. Right. Um, we talked about the pedanticness, um, st stereotyped repetitive use of language. Mm -hmm. um, because she gave the impression that she knew a lot more sometimes because she would use big words. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, uh, our whole family is very word oriented, so she picked that up. Big words, I mean, you know. But she doesn't always no, understand exactly. fully what yeah. they mean. Yeah. Um, She's getting better. Yes. There will be... Um, they just... They, they're making it... Okay. Obsessiveness. That's yes. the best way to put it. Yes. Obsessiveness. Um, and I think we should stop at obsessiveness because we can do the rest later. Yeah. Because um, this is just autism here. I mean, we haven't hit even hit Asperger's yeah. in particular. Obsessiveness... Um, and I'll, as soon as I give you a little bit of obsessiveness, we'll go on to, to bring Davina down here so you can see what she's up to. But... Um, Obsessiveness, for for example, her obsessiveness right now is Donald O'Connor. Yes, yes, the old time and movie actor. And you will hear something about him. Most you probably likely. will hear something about Donald O'Connor if you might still hear about Lucas Graybill as well. Yeah, she she's very focused on certain things. They focus on things to the extent that they don't that becomes their world. Yeah, it, it's very narrow um, um, to the point where even the thought of not liking that anymore it freaks her out. It's terrifying, yeah. and that's the best way to put it. It's terrifying yeah, she because this is all-encompassing. Yeah, and the idea of giving something up like that is, Ty said, it, it is terrifying for her because in her mind it leaves a hole. Yeah. So, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to flip the podcast a little bit. We're going to go right into um, finished objects because Damina wants to show you some things, and then um, I'll we will let her go after that. And then um, we'll proceed, you know, with the whips and all that kind of stuff. Now, Davina is aware that we're doing an autism awareness. Davina yes. does know that she has an autism spectrum disorder. Mm -hmm. She is very self-aware. Yes. Uh, she's, she's very intelligent. She is. Um, um, it's really a developmental and a, um, a developmental issue and a um, social issue. And there are for the, her. And there are other aspects as well of it, but they are more in the background. Yeah. Um, you know, she's, well, you'll see. I mean, s some of you remember Davina from previous yeah, and podcasts. We don't want to paint it as all, all horrible. She's mm -hmm. an amazing kid. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. She comes up with things sometimes that just, like my husband, yeah, just to give you an example, and then we'll go get her. My husband just found out that, well, he found out last summer that he's allergic to wasps and bees. I mean, he, he landed in the hospital. Okay. Yes, and, and he was panicking. Yes, he was. To be admitted. Yes, he would not allow himself to be. He told me I would have to leave if I didn't stop. Um, so anyway, that's not where we're, we're not talking about him. We're talking about Davina. Um, <laughs> he's another issue. <laughs> All by himself. All by himself. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, he was he was researching. He loves to garden and things like that. And he was researching. And unfortunately, based on what he's learned, he's not going to be able to garden. And I. You know, he, it's very hard for him because he loves to be outside. He loves to be doing that kind of stuff. And uh, I was thinking about something I could have said to him about it. I didn't say it because I wasn't sure, you know, if he wanted to do it. And Davina said, I said, Daddy, why don't you do something inside the house? 
Okay, so she is she can be in tune. Yes, yeah, she can. She can be in tune, and she she is very, you know, if I get sick, she's like, Mom, you need to go lay down, whether or not I want to lay down. Yeah. Oh, she loves the chance to mother yes. because it's not something she gets to do very often. Yes. If you're sick, she's all over you. Yeah, almost to the point where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> But, but it's not something she gets to do very often. And I'm probably the best for that. Oh, I'm horrible. My husband and my and this one here are like, ah. I'm like, okay, I get the blanket. I get the this. No, they don't really want that. You know, I'm, pr- I'm a pretty good patient. The rest of them are not. <laughs> so, oh, I'm a terrible patient. But, okay, that's either here or All right, we're going to put get you Davina. on pause. All right. Oh, that doesn't pause it like it does on. Okay. Oh, we're back. back. <laughs> okay. This is Davina. Some of you have met her before. Hi. Um, and how about you tell them about your... Project. Uh, project. Okay, this is this is a blanket. Did you have blanket? It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But back to the bl- we're, we're digressing here. I was <laughs> supposed to show the blanket here. Okay. Anyway, this is a blanket I've been working on for myself. It's uh, it's a very sparkly blanket. I, I love the spark. I love spark the sparkle yarn. I saw it. Now, where did where did you get your yarn from? Uh, I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's really really cool. Do I love know? the idea of sparkle yarn. Do you remember what the name of the yarn was? It's called I Love This Yarn. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and uh, I call this my Lucas Graybeal blanket after one of my favorite actors. Yeah. See all the sparkles and all that. It's it's it gives an oceany look to it with the blue and the green and the blue green. Something that mermaids would sleep in. It's okay. very common. And what, what, what's your hook? What's your hook size? Oh, oh, this this hook to it is all what I all make all the sizes of hooks for my blankets. It's it's J. J. Oh, okay. Okay. And as you can see, she does. Uh, because she's left the way she learned to uh, hook up. She's left-handed, so she's uh, crocheted a bit differently than we do. Um, I think she actually double yarns over. And I think she also might do it in the back loop. Yeah, uh, I think, yes, yeah, she does. So, it's almost bulletproof. Yeah, this, this <laughs> is a heavy blanket. It really is. All right, you're going to pass this on to All Mom, right, Hold on. Now, do Careful. You know, please. Do you know, what's, in your ki- what's in the bag? Okay, uh, you may not believe this. Well, let's show um, your bag off first. This, this, is, this, is, this is my bag. Is, and then it is my bag. And Large. And kitties. And I, I love that. I got her this for Christmas two years ago, and she almost didn't oh, get it. Look at the kitty wrapped up in the yarn. I love cats. This is actually funny. I cats. She almost did not get this bag. And what are you making in this? You, you see, here I'm, I'm working on a gauge swatch for a pair of mitts that I'm, I'm making, fingerless mitts, and because I want to try doing s- other things besides blankets and scarves. Have you ever worked scarf. a pattern before? Yes, for a ponytail holder, for ponytail holders. Now, and I've done it before. Way now, it, before. this time she's trying to do as much as she can without Our help hand. to yeah. see. <coughs> Another jade hook. <laughs> to see if she can um, get the pattern. Now, is this, is this the um, hook that they're asking for the swatch? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, actually, I think it is. But I've given it the one, two, one, two, one, two, first uh, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Right. That's what the pattern calls right. for. Right, but, but did they ask for a J hook? I think that's what it is. Okay, okay. good. Okay, yeah. and if they don't... Um, what, do, what do you do if it doesn't work? I'll have to use another one. Another okay, one and how will you know if it... And take it apart. How do you know if it doesn't work? Because you'll size it in... Like right, that. you measure it. You measure it. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. So this is her, her mitts pattern. It's her first pair of mitts. Fingerless mitts that I'm making because I'm technically my first pair was made by my sister and given to me. Mm-hmm. Right, first right. two pairs. So and this is the knitting's my bag, large sweater bag, cats. Okay, and then your finished object. It's your finished object. Th- and I finished this. Uh, this is uh, from another. Uh, I love this yarn. I love this yarn, but this is neon yarn. I love the idea of neon yarns just as much as the glitter yarn. I call this my Donald O'Connor blanket after now, my very favorite actor in the whole world. Are all your ends woven and everything? Yep. Okay. What did you learn to do on this, Davina? The border. See, there's a. You see, here, let's pull example. it up so you can bring up the border. See, okay, here we go. Here's the border. Oh boy. No, no, no careful with okay. it. See, here we go. I don't know if you can see the border that she did along the sides up here. This is the Green, first time she pink did and it. Yellow. The border. So, and as you can see, this is definitely autism awareness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that is her finished project. My finished Donald O'Connor. Now we're gonna go into our. Finished objects? Just, just, just briefly, and then we'll go back to the normal podcast. Um, what I have here, we've been calling this... <coughs> let me flip to the end. Sorry, I had to get out of frame to put that away. Um, this is... Eric. Bring this back. There we go. All right, so... um. This is the Disco Nights, the Charlie Noel pattern by Valentina Cosciani. I use the US 2 needle and Wild Hair Fiber Studios Pinnacle Fingering in the Neon Lights colorway. 
I've been working on this almost a year, and it is now finished. Go ahead and put it on, Kido. Thank Let you. me take your hat. And that I had to block initially. I had no. to. Um, there we go. <laughs> initially, I had to, I gave it to her and I didn't block it, but the ribbing kept flipping up. <laughs> now, you see, now the ribbon will stay in put yeah. in place. Thank oh, God. isn't that pretty? Thanks. Look at that. That turned out really nice. Now, it really doesn't go with your shirt, but no, but it looks beautiful. You yeah. have to be on a black dress or a solid color. That would you could almost wear this with any solid color. Yeah, because it has almost every <laughs> solid color. color. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is Tayo's first uh, fo for the um, toil the the autism awareness. awareness. Even Although it really doesn't count. But well, we we can't count it. That's why mm -hmm. we can count whatever because we don't get prizes. Right. So, uh, but that's okay. So good. Okay, um, you like that, Davina? Yeah, I love it. Okay, and my first fo, the one that we're going to count right now, and then we'll go into the regular podcast, is um, mm -hmm. I finished my uh, neon jelly bean cowl. Now this pattern I originally started from the um, Neon Dreams Infinity Scarf. I didn't care for the way the pattern was working up so I just kept the bare bones which was basically the base uh, chain and the fact that it alternated those neon colors and I picked a different pattern. I just picked a pattern out of a crochet stitch book and this is what it looks like. Davina, you might want to take that off. Because this is Davina's as well. <gasps> Thank you. This is it. I took out the purple and just used the four colors instead of five because it would be too big for Davina otherwise. I and wouldn't mind it. Let's see here. <laughs> as big as it is. And this could be wear worn as in different ways. You can wear it kind of like a little... Mm -hmm. There, kind of like a little infinity or Mobius or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, there are different ways you can wear it. You have to show her the different ways. Yeah. Um, so she has her bright cowl. You like that, Beans? I love it. Thank you. There we go. And that was done with Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, Neons. And it was a fairly easy pattern. I think once I decided on the pattern, it took me about a week. And yeah, you'll have to figure out how she we'll have to figure out exactly how she's going to wear it. It it's just very long. It is, and she's such a small little person. <laughs> Thank you. I'll you could probably even wrap it around. Probably just time. a swing. <laughs> <laughs> we probably could wear, wrap it around for her a third time. Let's see. For me, I can only yeah. get it around mm -hmm. twice. Let's get her hair out of here. Okay, chop it all off. Yeah. You wouldn't dare. There we go. Right there, it's big deal. I'll send my all my Donald O'Connor yeah, characters out Right there, you. clip all gone there. Oh, that's it. Now that looks pretty. There we go. You're pulling the hair out of the point pigtail. You no, I'm not kiddo. <laughs> you can fix it, even if she is. There we go. There. Your hair's not that short, kiddo. There you go. Okay, so that mm -hmm. is it. All righty, kiddo. Do you want to say uh, goodbye to everybody? Bye. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put it in your pause. Stuff and, uh, all right, okay, we're, we're back. back, and I I forgot to tell you where Davina's um little cowl was in. It was in my knitting's my bag. Puzzle pieces made for the autism awareness cowl. I have no more tea. Oh, my mind's almost gone too. And since I only have one more finished object and Talia doesn't have any more, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll go back to the way we normally do things. I finished um, I finished my um, not my Rivendell sweater. <laughs> my On the Road Again pillow project. It's a personal pattern. My husband's had it in his truck for the last week. He loves it. This is how it turned out. It's basically back loop single crochet. Well, that came out really nice. The focus. Adina is going to continue pattern, so we're going to have to talk to her about how to not do it in the back loop. Because she doesn't have to. Right, right. Because it's fine to always do blankets that way, but it will affect other patterns. Right. So this is my second finished object. I'm happy with it. My husband's happy with it, which is more importantly. And um, first time you ma made something per his request, usually he doesn't ask for anything. No, he doesn't usually ask. Well, he's asked me to make a tie, and I have not been able to find a pattern that I think he would wear. They're either too bulky or something. I need to find something. If you have any ideas of something that would be 
a tie weight and not look clunky because my husband doesn't like clunky. So if you have something like that, or even a here I go, even a simple knitting one <laughs> that you don't think will drive me up the wall, um, let me know and I'll see. I'll take a look at it. All right, we're going to head back into our um, our um, hooks. Do you um, how many projects do you have? I think I have four. Let me see. One, two, three. I have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I start. Yeah, you're gonna have to do two. I need to take this. Well, even if I just start, I'll be fine as well. I am getting a little hot here. Uh huh. Let's go. Oh, <coughs> I forgot to grab that one project. What project? Yours. Hold on one second. Mine. Yours. I'm gonna apologize. I am developing kind of the hiccups. <laughs> so she, th the stuff in here is vodka. Yes, it is. Okay. Even though this is <coughs> the first time I've had any drink today. Not vodka. <laughs> <laughs> the first before she gets into that, I did find the pattern that I use for Davina's thing. It's this double crochet lace, and that's the pattern I used, the pink one. So that's what Davina's scarf was out of instead of what was written. Okay. So um. Just make sure this is not going to tear itself out. Yoink. Okay. Yoink. All right. I'm sorry. I keep going, going in and out of screen because I'm trying to pull things right. Can she's not sorry. She's doing it on purpose. <coughs> well, I am doing it on purpose, but I am sorry. Okay. So, <coughs> first project is in the Cloverbird Batman bag, which is made of awesomeness. Oh, oh well, and Cloverbird is having an update. She has a. Um, she's put in some wedge bags now. So if you have been avoiding her because you want wedge bags, she has them now. <coughs> okay. So in here is Ink Heart, which is a lush pattern by Tin Can Knits. I'm using US three and US six needles. The yarn is Miss Babs Yowza What a Skein, um, in the fountain pen colorway. Make it for mom. And it, this project this uh, pattern was gifted to me by Nurse Kim Knits. I'm doing a size 33. I might be in the middle row. Yes. Um, this is a bunch of string because I have ends from when I was doing lace plus I'm alternating skeins. <laughs> it looks like blue spaghetti. Feels like blue spaghetti. <coughs> I think it would be a lot easier if I didn't have all these ads. I'd be more likely to work on it. Right. Um, yeah. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Now at least you can show it a little better. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. The color's pretty true. Uh, I love this color. I really do. You. These three colors are probably both of our favorites, uh, with the exception that you don't have the yellow orange here. Yeah. <coughs> so, it's not for too much farther than what you saw last time. A little bit. Ooh, curly cues. There we go. Um, but, actually, let me see. Am I almost in the middle? Yes, I am. Hold on. Make this a little easier on us. I started alternating skeins. Um, it is, like I said, the only reason why I haven't, I haven't realized I worked on this this week. I'd forgotten that. Um, I'd also forgotten I had stopped in the middle of the row. <coughs> but um, I thought I was going to be able to get to the end of the row, but I guess not. But you saw it kind of. It's just hard to show when it's in the middle of the row. But, yeah. You just knitted your stitch marker. No, I didn't. You just knitted your stitch marker. I didn't. I know you didn't put it in the project, but you knitted it. <coughs> you didn't purl it, you knitted it. Oh, well, you don't purl your stitch marker. Well, you knitted it. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> She's looking to see if she actually caught it. She's still not getting it. Go on. There's something wrong. I think it's because she's not used to using knitting stitch markers. I was perfectly accurate, in fact. She's confusing. But it's a beautiful color. I love It'll look really good on mom. Um, I'll just be glad when I don't have all these ends to work with. I, I need to either 
leave them in or something. There. Now, Miss Bath Superwash. I believe it is Superwash. Probably gentle. Um, and I'm not alternating skeins the entire way. Um, what I'm doing is when I think I need to change a yarn ball pretty soon, I start alternating skeins for a couple rows or until the one yarn ball runs out. And then I um, switch over uh, to the new yarn completely until the next time I need to change skeins. And I did the same thing. It was a sort of cheater's method that uh, I learned from the stocking at Zombies. Um, I think that Megan, in particular, was uh, using it. Megan makes me laugh, always. <coughs> and I'm almost at the end of this. I'm so far behind watching her stuff. Oh, I'm so far behind in watching all my podcasts, it seems. I've caught up a little bit, uh, but not nearly as caught up as I should be. I wanted... I was going to watch them last night after class, and then I decided that I wanted to watch them with Karen Knightley instead. Didn't quite enjoy Arthur, so I stuck in Pride and Prejudice, and I want to finish that tonight. The purists will probably grimace a bit because they don't care for that version, but I like it. I think that's a very she plays a very happy-go-lucky Lizzie, um, and that's sort of how I pictured Lizzie in the books. And I love the fact that she doesn't try to be all busty and stuff. She doesn't have it, and she doesn't pretend that she does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. On that note, do you well, want to go Well, she looks next? like a normal person. No, she doesn't. <laughs> well, other than the fact that she's gorgeous. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. You did not, in fact, state as much. Oh, apparently, uh, when she was, like, 12, she was Natalie Portman's uh, stand-in for... Uh, Star Wars. Oh, was she? Yeah. Um, you know, the person who was pretending to be the queen when... Oh, really? Yes, that oh, was her. Funny. She had no idea what she was doing, apparently. They just told her to wear this makeup and to step up at certain po points of the time because she had no speaking lines. Right, right. That's funny. <laughs> it was really kind but of... Because Natalie Portman's a little bitty thing, so... Yeah, well, she joked that they are asking her, like, oh, it's surprising you got a... Um, you, your career came to the start, you know, because it looks... They used it to double for Natalie Portman. She's like... Yeah, you know, they. I'm surprised they didn't go like, yeah, we already have one of those. Mm. But then I grew like a foot, and <laughs> I'm so much taller than she is now. Yeah, yeah. but it was funny anyway. I don't normally watch uh, celebrity interviews, but I was trying to see what movies Keira Knightley was in because I was in a Keira Knightley mood, and I YouTube her, and that came up. But there's the lace work. You can't really see it as well. Oh, there we go, a little bit. There, that's kind of showing up. Yeah, very and pretty. I love the color variations. I just love the color. Period. It's gorgeous. So, um, call it Ink Heart is a reference though to a uh, Brendan Fraser movie. I like Brendan Fraser. Um, and <coughs> he makes me happy when he's on the movies. The fact that it was called <coughs> Fountain Pen made me think of it. So it has nothing to do with the movie. The movie itself. It's a cute movie. I, I like most of Brendan Fraser's stuff because I can only think of maybe one movie that I wouldn't let Davina watch. It, bedazzled, it, right? Uh, yeah, Bedazzled. And I it, love Blast in the Past. Oh, Blast in the Past was hysterical. And of course, The Mummy. The Mummy was on at work the other day. Oh, was it? I love The Mummy um, movies. And I was like, oh, I know exactly which one this is, and I love this movie. Your turn still. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You have six. I only have four. I was good. That's fine. Go on. You're a pain in my neck. I am. Really? I mean, honestly. Okay, uh, my first one, I really don't want to do that one just yet. Hold on. Okay, my my Move by the Spirit Shawl, I think it's in here. Yes, it's in my Lois, it's my bag, Sarah bag, but I like to call it my Monet bag. It's slightly smaller than my other sweater bags. It was one of the first ones I got from her, and she has since kind of enlarged them. Um... I am. I think she's made them more consistent. Is what she did. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I love Lois's bags, <coughs> just like I love Silverbirds. So these are because they are both fantastic. I think I'll have to wear the sweater when I go out today, but the shawl is okay for right now. Mm -hmm. I got. I think I got about two rounds or two and a half. So I'm not too much further. It is a ginormous Star Trek symbol now. <laughs> I this is almost a shawl already. Make it so number one. <laughs> Make it. This is a great big Captain Picard. But anyway, this uh, although the color makes you think more of Beverly Crusher. Right, right. But this, um, I hadn't been working over much on it because I had other things that were taking my time. But I did get about two or two and a half around the 
three si the two sides of mm -hmm. the three. So it is moving along. It's a very um, relaxing project to work on, at least at this point. Well, that, um, this is the pattern that you did when you did your first pattern shawl, right? Yes, um, I think so. I might have done one of Anastasia's first. I can't remember. Um, I don't remember. I did some test crochets for Anastasia before. Um, I don't know if you knew Anastasia when you started doing this. Oh, yeah. Okay, because this was yeah. one of your first. Anastasia, I knew right when I got on Ravelry. Okay. So, um, well, I am occasionally an errand. It doesn't <coughs> happen very often, <coughs> but... <coughs> anyway. Do, do you have something in your throat? A certain person that we both know very well is trying to... In your to throat, huh? Trying to <laughs> talk. Um, in your throat? Yes. But anyway, this is... It, it's a very relaxing crochet. I enjoy it immensely. I love the pattern. It's one of the few that I've done more than once. And I will probably do it again. So it's, I just love it. The yarn is Knit Picks uh, Stroll Tonal in the Blue Yonder uh, Tonal colorway. And um, yeah, I just, I really like this. It's, oh, come on now, don't get caught on this. There. Okay. Why do you paper clip? I must have been using it to mark a stitch when I ran out of stitch markers. And so I put it there without to lose it. I should probably take it off. You probably should. Okay. Now it is my turn. Oh, and it is. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, now I'm thinking of stagecoach. Sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, sweetheart. Sweetheart with that scratchy voice. Sweetheart. Yeah. It, the stage driver, one of his horses, Slim named Pickens. Sweetheart, and uh, he he kept, he kept yelling. They be having a conversation in the middle of the conversation. Go, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and then he talk a little bit and go, sweetheart. <laughs> but anyway. This is, you should all know her by now. She's going to have plenty of other friend snakes developing across the country or even across the pond. I'm not sure if any of them are across the pond. I don't know if any of them are across the pond. But this is Sherbert the Lady Snake. Um, this is a crochet snake pattern by Spotlight. I'm using a G hook. Probably would not be a bad idea if you wanted to make her to use fingering weight yarn and some smaller hook. Yeah, or maybe even sport weight if you want to, you know, if you don't want to use Because she is quite large. I don't mean fat baby. Um, no. Hold on. Let me. I am using um, Yarn Be Danielle in the Colorway Vibes for the um, main color here. Uh, this lighter color. Yes. And then the bright colors are Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, and the neon colorway. That you've seen so much of today. Yes. Um, <laughs> she has grown. I thought she was as tall as me. She's not quite there yet. Um, I have several color repeats, probably no more than ten, before I start going back to the main color completely and decreasing for the tail. So she's probably three quarters of the way through. Um, Depending on how wide the stripes are. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is quite a large snake, much larger than I ever anticipated, because in the picture it showed it stand next to a child, and it was taller than the child. I didn't realize it would be almost as tall as me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... This is quite a large toy. Um, I wonder if you misread the yarn you were supposed to use. I don't think so. I think it's just a large toy. Well, oh, it is a large toy, but... It should say... The pattern isn't the easiest to read, but... My snake's cute in the one they have. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. Um, Might be biased, but I think so. It says... Oh, I don't know what Mods Vera Cupcake, what sort of yarn that is. Yeah, well, usually I usually look up the yarn in that case. Well, what hook did they make? Four millimeter. Four millimeter, that's what, a D? Um, D? No, F. Well, let's see, I have my hook here. Just watch that maybe use, like... Well, the G is a four, I think, because the seven's a 4.5. This is a 4.25, so I'm really not that far... Oh, that much of a difference. What they say was four. Four. No, you're not. So, but if you do that over distance, yeah. yeah. But still, I don't think that I it made it. It wouldn't have been that much more. No, it's just a huge toy. 
Um, so, she is making progress. I work. I've been trying to work a stripe whenever I have a night off. Um, just because it's a good way to get it done. Mm -hmm. A little of time. Baby steps. Because single crochet, too much at a time. I'm not a crocheter. Well, I am a crocheter, but I'm not a crocheter mainly. And too much single crochet makes me go batty. Mm -hmm. um, especially if it's just single crochet around and around and around and around. It's not like when I'm doing one of Patrick Moose's toys. It's like I'll do it around for a little bit and then get some sort of decrease. Just mm -hmm. right. No, there's there's no decrease. This is around and around and around and around and around. Okay, I think you're making people dizzy. <coughs> but she doesn't have a tongue to stick out yet. That's stretching her strength. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me put her back where she belongs, so we can continue on with the podcast. Oh, sorry, did I smack you with No, snake? no. She's too polite to smack. Okay. okay. All right. Now what? Um, ew. Let's see. All right. Now it is your turn. All right. Um, let's see. What's in here? I could just back. Okay. The next project I was working on didn't get a lot of love this time. This is in my this is my knitting my bag, yes. My knit is my bag, lazy gnome bag. This is the medium. And it is my dragonfly cardigan, which is from the Sunday cardigan pattern by Sh Shannon Mullet Bowlesby. My hook is caught on my yarn here. Let me just see if I can get this out without causing major problems. Mullet, huh? What? I, I'm just thinking, uh, when I hear mullets, I think, you know, yeah. business in front, party in the back. I thought maybe you mispronounced it. This is, um, I'm in the middle of a row. It's turning out beautifully. I love the colors on this. This is the Dragonfly colorway in um, the Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. And uh, I really like it so far. It's the co Oh, the colors look nice. That's pretty close. So it looks like you have a little bit of something that's fuzzing there. Yeah, to yeah. I, I'll clip that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But it's going to be fuzzy like my yellow one is. Yeah, I think so. It's a very um, fuzzy kind of yarn, but I kind of knew that when I started with it after I bought it. This is what they actually recommended for this sweater with um, this yarn. The sa the one that they showed in the magazine was made in I think it was. Um, ice cream colorway or something like that with pinks and stuff. Yellows. For some reason I thought sand glass. I'm like, no. no that, that would be green, wouldn't it? Well, I was like, this oh, sea glass would be green. I, I was thinking sand glass. I'm like, wait a second. That's actually a reference to uh, Prince of Persia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be tan. But yeah. this is, so this was the um, alternative. They, they said, if you want to go a little more wild or whatever it was they said. And I said, yeah, that's what I want. This is the color I want. Because I just don't do pinks like pinks and light yellows. We're not yellows. pink girls. No, Davina is the pink girl in the family. Yes, she is. And this, I'm using a um, 375 millimeter hook, which is an F, and this is a um, crochet dude, which really saves my hands. I can do a little more crochet with this. So, yes, a shameless plug for that, because if it works for me, it might work for somebody else. Um, I think I'm about 10 or 15 rows from starting the shaping for the underarms with this. And I found a neat button place. I'm going to have to look and see what kind of buttons. Because I'm thinking about putting Now it's all this. metal buttons. Yes, they're all metal buttons. I think um, they're all metal. At least the ones I looked at were all everything metal. Everything looks like metal to me, which means yeah. it might limit me a little bit because I, I actually am in love with wooden buttons. I love. I, my last sweater has metal buttons. I love metal Every buttons. Every once in a while I like metal buttons, but I'm more into wooden ones. The, the uh, button person is... Um, Oh, I wish I could oh, remember I it. Remember. I favorited her shop. I favorited her shop. She's on Etsy, and her ad is on um, Ravelry. That's how I saw her. I was wondering about that. Yeah, and so it's, I don't know, I, I have to find it again. If I remember, I'll put it in the show notes, but I probably won't remember. <laughs> so if you want to know, ask me. It is in my lazy gnome's bag, which I don't really understand why they're lazy, because most of them are working, except for one that is asleep. Yeah, he's working hard sleeping. He's sleeping hard. Yes. So, one of mine now, and that would be the Robin of Loxley. 
which is in my knitting my bag, uh, Bertie's bag. I do love this fabric. Um, uh, this is the Box Elder Cardigan pattern by Maria Lay. Um, I'm using US 9 and US 7 needles in the Dragonfly Fibers Traveler yarn in the Villainous colorway. Yeah, sorry, trying to get my show notes to move along. There we go. And I'm making size 36. So, I'm getting close to when I might need to alternate skeins. And I'm starting, last time I was talking to you, I think I had started the decreases. This is all turned into that. Okay. Now I am on the increases for so the, I started the decreases for waist shaping. Now I'm on the increases for the hip. Um, and heaven only knows I have one. You have one hip? Yes, just one. I took the other one out. <laughs> that reminds me of Davina when she was in when she was being tested um, way back when she was like in kindergarten. They were asking her her body parts, and they asked her where her hips were, and she said, I don't have any hips. Well, she knew where her hips were. It's just that because she was so thin, we always used to tease her that she didn't have any hips. We had to explain to the, to the um, tester that, no, no, she knows. We, you know, we told her, hey, show, go ahead. It's okay. You can show them. But she was like, I don't have any hips. <laughs> uh, the littleness. <laughs> yeah. So... Here is um, well, hood has been finished. It's been finished Very forever. Nice. And you're making good and progress. look at I mean, it's starting to really look like a sweater now. Um, my sleeves. I mean, some people might wear it with just the capped. Right. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that particular look, but I know some people like to wear it. And um, there's the detail. Pretty. For the hood, and it's all along the side of the sweater. You're actually working the detail as you work the sweater, which means I'll probably have to pick up for the ribbing along the whole length of the sweater, <laughs> including the hood, once I finish knitting the sweater. Not looking forward to that. Why would you have to do the hood? Because the hood has ribbing, too. Oh, okay. Um, it's like a, the ribbing has to be at least two inches thick. Sure. Um, I remember thick or wide? Is it does it be out like this or it has to be thick like this? Well, people know what I mean by thick. Be specific. Are you stretching your tongue? Very slightly. Mm -hmm. Um so it is turning out well, I'm loving the colors. Um and I'm looking forward to, you know, getting to start the sleeves. And I'm sure picking the stitches will be better than I think it is. Maybe they'll have some nice little formula to make it easier so I don't have to do the math. But um, yes, it's, it's trucking along, going a lot faster than I anticipated. What size needles? Tens? Um, six and eights? Nines, I think. Nines. Yeah, I think you nines. said that, nines. So, yeah, it has gotten love, and it'll probably get more love tonight. And there we go. Let me show this in here. How many more do you have? Um, hold on. One. Two, three. Could do another one. Please, please, Daisy, Daisy, do another one. <laughs> Only because you said please, and don't get used to it. There's no sense in you having to do three all at once. Okay, let's see. Hold on. My shawl keeps falling off. Um. I don't so even where it's warm in here. I'm chilly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in my Autism Awareness Bag by Lois, um, this is It's Okay to Be Different. Um, this is a braided bright pattern by 10 hours or less using US 10 needles and Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in the Neons colorways. Um, I'll be doing yellow, pink, blue, and green. And I don't think I ever got the green back from you. Um, I gave it to you. I gave it to you before you went to work. I'll see what I did with that. Yeah. I don't want the pink back either. Did you give that to me as well? No, you kept the pink. Oh, no, I okay, I kept it because I thought the pink was coming in. I have to give it back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I accidentally ordered her uh, DK. 
Or sport, sport whatever. Weight, yeah. Okay, so I'm doing this for 26 inches. Um, 25 26 inches, and I'm at 22. This is my first, this is the yellow. It's luminescence, you can barely see it. Yeah. There, it's a little bit better. And that's Hobby Lobby, I love this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a very bright yellow. Um, it'll be braided with the other colors when it is done. Um, I'm looking forward to a different color. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's, it's it's an easy pattern. It's it's so yellow, it's almost that greeny yellow. Yes, it is. That's the boyfriend. Me. Oh, they're leaving D.C. now. He'll text when he gets to Benton. Well, that mean, it'll be another hour after they yeah, yeah. get to Benton, so. Um, so we have some time. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay, but yeah. Got a little bit of, well, got quite a bit of work. I think it was, like, down here somewhere. Oh, I wow. Was. It was, it's a quick project. It's just, um. See now to do it. See now to do it, yeah. There we go. Okay, I will get started here. I will, I wasn't going to do this one now, but I, I Thank will. Thank you, George. This is my, um, Lattice Trellis Afghan project. I hadn't done anything on it for a while. I did some yesterday. We were watching Wild Wild West. You can see that this is where I had it because I didn't bother moving the doohickey because I hadn't done anything. So this is what I've done. Just about a row or two. But it is coming along. I'm going to stand up. I'll be out of frame, but I want to show you how big the blanket's getting. Um, can you see it? I can't see. Yes, yeah, so you have the whole screen. Okay, so it's getting pretty large. Just about ready maybe to start putting the other one. I think I might do one more row, one more um, ball of the pink, the impeccable, and then go back to the um, Daniel Yarn, the Daniel Yarn and Dawn, Dawn colorway. colorway. So I'm, I'm still enjoying this. It's easy because I know what it is in my head. I don't have to worry about following anybody else's pattern. Which I'm using, I think this is an, I can never see this hook. I think it's a J hook. It's Hold on. It's an eye. An eye hook. Okay, it's an eye hook. And it's moving along fairly quickly. When I do sit down to do it, it goes fairly quickly because it is worsted weight and far fairly large hook and the pattern's easy. So that's that. And oh, it's in my um, my M&M's, New York M&M's bag that Talia got me when she went to New York with my parents last year. That was fun. Okay, so moving onward. Um, Ever onward. So I, it appears that we have started an accidental zuzu along as well as an accidental snake along, because um, I seen several people who want to start zuzus or have plans to start zuzus. I started another one for purse project. Uh, this is in my uh, well, my many plover bird bags. These are the colorful frogs um, doing multiple things. Um, this is, I got this bag actually around on some awareness last year. Oh, mm -hmm. um, so this is Rainbow Petals, making this for Autism Awareness. This is Zuzu's Petals by Karina Spencer. I'm using US 8 needles and the Chopelle Wool Reggae Ombre in the colorway Kleinerfuchs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak German. Um, Maybe Daniela can help us. So, she's German descent. Hopefully I'm not like swearing in German or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for some reason I ended in the middle of the road. Huh. I want to know why every time I find a decent pattern, not well, every <laughs> I find a decent pattern sweater crochet. Why is it always in French? I was having that issue when I wanted to find a poncho uh, before I settled on the Venus. Uh huh. Um, French all or Italian? Them, all of them were French and Italian. Yeah. Now the designer is Italian for Davina's. I want, um, yeah, you, yeah, you showed us that with the, yeah. But I wonder if it's just that we like certain people and they happen to be, their first language happens to be that, a different language. Yeah. And so. I need to take a picture of Davina and her thing, so yeah. we. I, I need to take one of her too. But. It's on the project uh, page, but. I'll have to wait till she's not wearing something that's uh, clashing. Yeah. But I'm trying to work to the end of this row. Um, 
And what are you working on, the Zuzus? This is the Zuzus. I finished, you saw the orange one already, you saw the green one already. I've been trying to do as many Zuzus as I can because I wear them and I like to have color options. Um, I've had several people hint, well, say, <laughs> ask, <laughs> yeah, that mm -hmm. they like the Zuzus and they want this one I'm making now. <laughs> I said that was nice, but didn't really give them any other answer. <laughs> Because I don't do um, commission commissions. I knit what I want to knit. Um, we like to give gifts. We don't like to feel like we have to. Yes. <laughs> so right now it still looks like the orange one that I just finished. It is very similar to the orange one at the beginning there. Um, Maybe a little brighter with the yellow orange. So I need to actually mark off this row. I have a bad habit with this one, not to remember to mark off the rows. Um, because right now, this is an easy to memorize pattern. It's, I haven't gotten to the lace yet. Let me pull out the yarn itself. I am headed from the orange. I'm starting to get to the green. Well, that'll be nice. You do the yellow it's not green. really green. It's well, yeah, it's, headed, it's kind of green. It's, it's green for a little green. bit, yeah. and then it goes into blue. Green's not one of the main colors they emphasize. So it's very rainbowy. It's pretty. Um, Headed into something I'll find looks a little different than the one I just worked on. Um, and if I don't like the way it turns out, if I don't care for the colors, if it, I don't think it's something I'll wear, I have plenty of people who are willing to steal this from me. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. It's called borrowing. <laughs> it's only <laughs> borrowing if you intend to return it's, it's it. Like, it's like, um, you know, I keep seeing that thing in the mummy where he says to her, he says to Evie, Rick says to Evie, that's called stealing. According to you, you my and my brother, brother it's called, called borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Another good movie. Yes. Um, but yeah, that project has gotten some work. I feel too warm to do this blanket right now, but oh well. Voila. Voila. To move my marker. Mm -hmm. To move it, move it. To move it, move it. Okay, your turn. Okay, my, I have one more, um, one more work in progress. And it's my um, guileless shawl, which is from the Guile pattern by Anastasia Sattel, who is Anastasia Knits. And I'm using a five millimeter H hook. Let me open this up. I've been getting this caught here. This is my Plover Bird chai tea bag. It's her large bag, and I love this tie. You gave it to me for Christmas last mm -hmm. year, I think. Or was Even though birthday? it's not chai tea, it's coffee. It's chai tea. It has coffee. Chai beans. tea beans. Because chai tea totally has beans. Chai tea with cocoa beans. Chocolate chai tea. <laughs> it can happen. In the magical world. There is chocolate chai tea. Where um, okay. unicorns with two brains buzz. Okay, <laughs> that was just <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> it's a movie reference. Okay, now, this is my, this is the progress I made. I made a fair amount of progress on this, but like my other projects, they kind of went to one side while I worked on Davina's cowl. Um, it's very, it's like working with stockinette. <laughs> it curves That's a lot. That's why I keep calling is, is her crocheted version. Of this is all single crochet for the most part, and I don't want to go too, too much into it, but I don't remember if this is a free pattern or not. I think it might be, but um, regardless, until I know for sure, I don't want to say too much about it. But the way Anastasia it's constructed, is a designer, isn't she? yes, she is Anastasia. I did mention that. Um, she did say it would, um, it would uh, curl until it was blocked. So thankfully, this w this is a blockable yarn. This is um, the uh, Shalimar yarn in the, Z the Zoe sock, the Lost Soul base. Um, it's kind of like a pot a pot soaker soaker. <laughs> So Are you having issues? I am. Speaking. This um, is a non-repeatable yarn. It's a one of a kind, as is the contrast yarn that I'll be using, which is slightly darker. And it is moving along, but because it's single crochet, sometimes I want to just pull my hair out <laughs> because it just seems to go on forever. But it, I'm making progress. I've seen to tell you, oh, I'm about a third of the way through the rows, but the rows are getting longer, <laughs> so <laughs> it takes me longer. But it is. Honestly, except for the edges where I do my increases, it's really easy. I can just sit there and do it when I'm watching television or whatever. 
um, or a movie. We don't have TV. We have movies, but um, and I don't know. I probably will not finish it in time for the Cal, which is um, which is supposed to be. I think it's in the middle of April. I'm just not going to be able to finish it by then. But I intend to finish. I really like the pattern. I love the way the yarn is working up. I love the pattern. Anastasia is a really super designer, and um, I'm glad that I'm finally having a chance to do another one of her projects. It's been a while. And I'm, I think I said the hook already. I said the bag. And that's basically what I am doing. That's, those are my whips. Okay. So I have a final one. Um, this is for Davina. Um, first of all, you're going to be able to tell anyway. I tore out my Halalea. I was not enjoying the yarn combined with the, pa with the pattern. I know that's what the yarn was intended for, or what the pattern was intended for was that yarn. I just, it was too airy for me or something. Um, too loose, so. Too open? Something like that. Yeah. I, and it was, and the sweater was in pieces, and it's just not something that I enjoy. Um, so, I tore that out. I've been meaning to. I finally did. And I re -ca I cast on a different project with the same yarn. Um, <laughs> The it might get for Davina. It's a swallowtail vest pattern, which by is really pretty. And I'll show you the pattern in a second. By yarns, by HPF. I'm using US 10 needles and the mustache yarn and fiber hell of a skein in the Polani colorway. I'm not swearing at you. That's what the uh <laughs> we're not swearing. That's that's the de designer's colorway. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm calling this project not a, a Donald O'Connor sweater vest because Davina has been saying she wants a Donald O'Connor sweater vest, but in case she gets out, out of falls out of <laughs> Donald O'Connor, I really don't want to have a sweater vest that make her go in a drawer somewhere never to be seen again. Um, so I went and I searched for pretty feminine sweater vests. It's stylish. She'll love it. Yes. Um, Does she know? No. Okay. Um, I think that looks so pretty with sleeves. Bell sleeves. So, the, you see, you're looking at the front and the back. There are options to stripe it. I chose not to. I also chose not to add any sparkles. Um, it's got a s swoopy, scoopy back, and it's got a nice loose front, which is very stylish. And like I said, you're supposed to use light fingering yarn and US 10 needles. There's no gauge swatch. Um, it's a one size fits all, which means it's going to be ginormous on her. Mm -hmm. You take the small, oh, the other side is going to say there's no this one size. Because um, she's just a little bit. Yeah, she is. So, and then the little row, because it's very easy to be, it's over 400 <laughs> stitches cast on. I probably should have gone for my size 37 cable, but that's okay. I'm not hurting anything. It is very airy, but for some reason it doesn't annoy me. Well, you know, you're not going to wear it. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to wear the other one either. Uh, uh, Halea? Who's going to wear that? Davina. Oh, that's right. So, that's part of why I don't want to tell her I'm making this for her, in case I fall out of love with the pattern. Right. I don't want her hopes to be up. Uh... It's very loose and airy. My only concern is that she might catch it on stuff. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about that is she can wear it to church. Yes. So I'm working on it. It'll take some time, but at least it's US 10s. Um, that makes all the difference. And it's building up a lot quicker than I thought it would with light fingering. And with, you know, 400 some stitch count. Yeah. Uh, that's Those are my knitted projects. We did FOs. Yeah. Um, um, I know you're done with your knitted, so let's go on to cross stitch. Wait a minute, hold on, let me see. I do want to go into writer's block. Okay. Um, I have two projects that I have, they're not in hibernation, and they're not frogged. They're just not being used. I guess they're in timeout. Um, my Rivendell sweater, which I have never officially started, I never finished the gauge swatch, the one that has my Dragonfly Fibers yarn, the peacock colorway. I have put that aside for now, and I've also put aside the sweater that might become a cardigan, my first knitted sweater. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet, and that yarn, it is currently in timeout. I may finish it. I may reconstitute it as some other sweater or something else, um, but for now, it's sitting in timeout. Now we can go to 
um, across it, the graphic, yes. no, the graphic novel. You first, because I went first last. Okay. I did not do a whole lot of work on my, I actually only pulled it out, what was it, Thursday? And just a heads up, we have only 35% on my battery, so we might want to save the uh, stash in Again? Yeah. We're going to have a huge amount of stash in We can't, well, maybe we, it's only made the stash in here, it has its brief, because I have no way to plug this in. I, I will, um, you have a plug? I have a plug, we don't have a plug that's close enough to, okay. will that stretch? Well, what stretch? That black one over there, the long one? I don't know, I can try. Hold on one second, let's put this in pause. Sorry about that, we fixed it. Um, now we can go as long as we need to. Sorry about that. I moved a lot of <laughs> and this is going to be a long one. Right. We did, we did warn you. If you want to watch us in pieces or shut us off now that we're doing other things, that's fine. We just... Um, I don't I mean, want to get... still all knitting and crocheting. Yeah, I just, I just didn't want to have this, the stash enhancements get so backed up that every week we stop doing it because we have so much yeah. to go through. Uh, but oh. we were talking about your cross-stitch. My cross-stitch. Um, okay. I really didn't get a whole lot done. I only did one letter um, because the lighting and just various other things I was tired and I couldn't see. Even with the magnifying glass, I was having trouble seeing. This is the project that I'm working on. It has a little bit of glare. I don't know if it's going to. And it says with all, with God, God, all good things are possible. So I had done the P. <laughs> I took this out on Thursday and I finished one more letter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Are you upside down? No. I don't think so. You weren't. Okay. Hold on. There. Now they can see. Po. Po. It says po instead of po. So I didn't do too much. I got one letter done. Yay me. Yay. So that, and I, I went all over the house looking for this project today to show you that one letter. <laughs> so you really ought to feel honored because <laughs> I hid it. I, I put it somewhere. so Where she could find it. Where I could find it. Where it would be safe because it was looking like it was, everything was piled up and that annoys my husband. So um, I put it somewhere where it wouldn't look like it was piling up and I couldn't remember where I put it. Yeah. You have kids, you lose brain, brain cells. Or little gray cells as Paul would say. Which is why Paul and never sired children. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's mine. You go oh, ahead and do your okay. practice. Although he would have lost any brain cells. No, he probably wouldn't. Okay. In my pod blue nightwing bag uh, is my cross stitch, my graphic novel. Hey, hold on. Come back here. Okay, you should probably put a protector on that. Well, I was working on it. But you're not working on it now? <laughs> Most of my knitting, I don't have to do that, but this is a little bit more iffy. Yeah. Well, you don't want to lose anything with that many stitches. And also, it's just because the stitches are so airy anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway. This is the pattern. It's 1 Corinthians 13. Um, and that's the whole love is patient, love is kind. Um and I got, I got bored with working on the flower, so I switched over to the words. That's looking okay, very nice. Um, I love working on the words. I love how the flower turned out, but I love working on the words. So, as you can see, I'm in the middle of doing arrogant. Mm -hmm. I finished the N, and I have to start the T. So, I've been thoroughly enjoying this. I actually had to pick out the A right here because I wasn't paying attention while I was doing it and I uh, did one one square too far this way. So there was a space between the G and the A that didn't need to be there. So I picked out the A and did it again and then did the N afterwards. Um, because we're doing counted cross stitch and not, as you can see, there's not anything printed on this. Not stamped. So, um, yeah. It's been turning out well. I've been enjoying it. Okay, I have a lot of stash enhancements. What do you have? I wonder if I did the same thing with the U. Or if that was the way it was supposed to be. Well, we can check it later. Do you have stash enhancements? No, I do not. Okay, I have quite Oh, a yes, I do. All right, one. Um, I have... Sorry, I got distracted. Um, first of all, I got this from Mom as well. Yeah. Um, from Hobby Lobby. A clip-on craft light. It's you can put it on your cross stitch um, um, on your frame, yeah. and it's got three little LED 
bulbs in there, it looks like. And it's especially for, it's, it says perfect for needlepoint, cross stitch, cruel, embroidery, and beading. So, Cruel. Cruel. Cruella. Cruella de Vil? Yes. It's not spelled that way. No, it's not. Um, I'll just run through mine, then I can take a look at my cross stitch pattern. Um, picked up Debbie Bliss. There are some adorable kid patterns in here. Um, and the thing is, that actually has a couple of crochet patterns in it as well. But most of them are knitting. Now, even though I can't tell if this is a boy or a girl, that pattern is kind of cute. Uh -huh. I want these on the back here. Oh, this hooks. Yeah. Um. Oh, I love... Actually, I love both of these kids. And I love their sweaters. I want the bunny. Just saying. And his sweater is cute. She is so precious. Mm -hmm. Look at that little redhead. And I do love her little star bandana thing. But I want their little redhead. You want the redhead? I want the little redheaded girl. She's adorable. Yes, she is. She, she, she's so cute. Actually, my boyfriend thought this one looked tacky, but I really like that. I think it's cute. Um, and that. Although, I partially like, again, it's that little redheaded girl again, so anything she wears is cute. I do all the time. So I want to be able to show my stuff, too. Yeah, all the same. Again, she makes it look adorable. Anything she's wearing, I'm not going to want to make. Yeah, I know. We're running way over. I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, well, yeah I'm done. No, 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 no. I, it's fine. Just go through your stuff. I'll do it. That was all I had to show for this. Go ahead and do what you have to do, because we're already at 120. I'm not going to be able to do it. Got the pro guide for knitting. Not going to really run through anything in this. Go through it, Ty. And Vogue Knitting. Um, no, go ahead, Mom. No, I, I can't rush through. I have too many things. Well, at least you can do one of them. The only thing I'm going to do is um, something that you guys can do for stash enhancement for yourself. Somehow I got a double of Crochet Magazine. This is the uh, magazine that um, the Crochet Guild uses, I believe. And I got an extra one. I'm going to open a thread. If you would like me to send this to you, just tell me you would like me to send it to you. You don't even have to say why. Um, and I'll, we'll, do, we'll do a random number generator, and I will send it to whoever comes up. I will open it because I don't want to send you my bill. Um, I would take it out of the wrapper, but it will not be used because I have one. So if you would like this crochet magazine, it's the newest issue. Um, I will open the thread. Just say why you would say why. Say you would want it. Say you want would like the crochet magazine. If you want it. Um, I'll leave it open for a week or two, mm -hmm. and then um, probably two weeks. I'll leave it open for two weeks. If you want this, say that you want it, and by still leaving it open for two weeks, she means that I'll leave it open for two weeks and draw for the winner, because that's usually what happens. I can draw for the winners. You're just so painfully do, 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 do you ever do it? You, you don't know. let me. I don't uh -huh. want you to. I want you to. Uh-huh. Two weeks. Okay. She, she's my... Um, what do we call You're my public relations person, and I do all the technical stuff. You're the techie, and I'm the PR person? Exactly. So, anyway, if you want it, let me know. I'll open the thread as soon as I get a chance. The only stash and hats I'm going to show you, uh, I want to show you magazines, I don't have time. These are the yarns that Talia bought for me to replace the ones that she used. They are not worsted, they are sport weight, but I can use them. So, that's that. Uh, you might actually decide you want to use it for the belt. Yeah, or I might use it for an animal, make peeps or something. <laughs> um, so that's that. I want to thank, oh, I did, for, for writing, I did about just shy of 650 words through the shared story. I did the prompting for the CH Percolator writing group, and I did some editing for WDU. So it was, oh, and I wrote a blog, um, I forgot to put in my notes. I wrote something for my um work for, for the magazine for Seton and they liked it so I've got that done. Yes, I know it's not my fault. Thank you to all of the people who gave us patterns and bags. I will enumerate you more next week because we're running short on time. Have a wonderful week. This is Pen, Hook and Needles episode 96 and that's a wrap. <laughs>